Warning, if you cannot contain swear- if you cannot handle constant amount of swearing, vulgar language, or offensive jokes, get the fuck out of here! Hello everybody, it is I, Dylan the Tyrant Yoshi, and welcome to episode 10 of my Terraria Calamity Mod Revengeance Mode Let's Play. And in this episode, this is gonna be special, cause I'm actually bringing some friends with me. Say hello, everybody! Hi! Hello! Fish Hi there. <laughs> this episode, I should be fighting a boss who makes me want to shove Satan's red-hot cock down my throat, because it is going to be way harder than the last two bosses. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. This boss is fucking painful. So now, our first objective is... I want to reforge a bit of my weapons, head to the sulfurous sea, and fight... My next boss before I get to the super crazy fucker. In order to do that, I need to summon the sulfurous rain again. Let's do it. Alrighty. Also, if you guys happen to enjoy this video, if you didn't know what to do, leave a like and comment down below if you want to see more. Which it was that way it won't mean my mouth. We're gonna do more regardless. Be sure to subscribe, it really makes the videos a lot more better and allows us to do other things as well as to us bring more friends, such as us, to be able to help him support these videos. Fuck that yeah. being said, let's get straight into today's content. And as and soon... Big... Go on. I have no idea what else to say. Alright, anyways. Go! Now, let's start off with the Tier 4 Sulfurous Rain. This event is fucking dangerous. And here is a new mini-boss, the Nuclear Terrors, but holy shit does the post-devourer of God's weapons fucking shred these things. The Trust- enemy fire. Exactly. Trust me, everybody, if we were to fight this thing with post- or I mean pre-devourer of God's weapons, it would have took so much longer to kill these things. Also, the music here is fucking bussin'. You know, what if I just go around and hit everything with my true melee weapons? That will work. Oh god, my health though is getting fucked, because with true melee, it's not like you have a sword that shoots a projectile. True melee is when it's just the sword. So I am getting hit an ungodly amount of times, but that's to be expected because tier 4 sulfurous rain is fucked. Now, if you look at the bottom right screen, you can see the progression bar. Once that thing hits 99%, something wicked this way comes. Oh my god, that DPS! What would, uh, like, five numbers be, guys? Because I know, like, three is triple digits, and then four is quad digits. What would be five? Good question. <laughs> and I had to come back home really quickly, because there is some accessories here to dis Or just some items here in general to dispense. Nuclear fumes? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's part of Calamity Vanities. Radioactive Carton. What is this? Oh my god, I'm riding a nuclear terror! Oh my god. <laughs> does does he have a fast fall? No, he doesn't, so I gotta take the slime out because, um... When you have him, it allows you to fall really fast, which during boss battles can really help. Alright, I'm gonna put the nuclear fumes down here. Wait, do I have another Gamma Heart? Also, GP, um, Calamity is, as you should know, it's just Terraria, but on fucking steroids. With an insane story written on it. And it's like, it's honestly, it feels like Calamity is its own game at this point. Especially when they add... <laughs> When they added the Exomax. That fucking damage, though. Oh. 
You know what I'm honestly really scared about with this boss battle? So the boss I'm about to fight once the um, progress bar reaches 99%, it has an AI with, um... It's another boss that likes to charge at you, but they made this charge so it's like it's supposed to predict your movement. So like, sometimes he'll go down when you're falling super fast when you're not even like downwards at all, and it catches you completely off guard. Sounds terrible. Melee weapon proficiency level up. Fuck yeah. Ah, you fucking cock whore. Hey, don't talk about my mom like that. He's talking to the nuclear terrorists. I hope <laughs> that I can destroy this boss as fast as I think I'm going to with my post of Hour of God's gear. Cross your fingers. You've got this in the bag. Actually, before I even have that progress bar reach 99%, I should probably go and buy a buff potion that will increase my melee stats. But I also need money to buy those potions, so... I'm gonna put away these rogue potions, and then... What's a good way to farm for money right now? Because I know I tried Ravager, but I died to him a bit. I am not fighting Devourer of Gods again! Fuck that shit. Good boss, but I've died too many times to fucking handle it. It's just simply unbearable now. Hell, you thought Providence was bad? You thought I raged a lot when I was fighting Providence? Oh, no. No way. It'd be very scary. Oh, and trust me, I'm gonna probably be raging even harder later in the episode when we have to fight a certain <laughs> dragon. But what boss should I... Actually, I know a good boss for farming money. Astrum Deus. Because when you open up his treasure bag, not only does it give you a lot of money, but it also spawns you all four of the lunar fragments that if you sell them you can make bank off of them really easily. So right now I'm a broke ass bitch and I need to go get some money. Didn't didn't COVID nineteen start all that and fuck us over? Yep. You know what's something <laughs> you know what? in the U.S. yesterday I noticed that um, COVID-19 fucked around? Everything over there is a lot more expensive than it used to be now. Yeah, How much you think about it? Yeah. yeah, it feels like it's been the same thing here, too. Wait, the money's increased over there, too? Yeah, I think it was a lot more expensive than it used to be. Hmm. Unfortunate. I'm really hoping... In, like, if they release the next generation, like, Nintendo console or something, they better still keep the games over here, like, $80 and not, like, boost it up to the 100s, because that would piss me off. I was about to say, because games here used to be, like, I think most of the games for the Switch here used to be, like, around 40, 50 pounds. And some of them have gone up to fucking 70. Oh my god. 80. Yeah, here... Which in... Which in... Which in the Americans, they would be about 130, $140, I think. Damn. Oh, Astrum Deus is getting skull fucked by this weapon. And now he split himself in half. Give me money, you stupid whore. There's the lunar fragments in the treasure bag. How is that not lowering my frame rate? <laughs> oh, did you guys see my um, 26th Yoshi yesterday when I posted it in the server at all? I think I, it's, think I did. It's, yeah, in, yeah, I it's in art and photography and if you know how big my 6th Yoshi is, my 26th one is even bigger. 
somehow. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He is a big, big boy. Oh yeah, he is the chonky boy. Oh yeah, just killing Astrum Deus himself just gives us a lot of money. We're rich! Let's try fighting this guy three more times and we are gonna we are gonna look like we've won the lottery. I'm gonna predict there's either gonna be over twenty or thirty platinum coins in my inventory once these three more Astrum Deuses are dead. Man, even after all this time they still do big damage. All of our post devourer of God's gear. Well, one thing that hasn't changed about them is how great their music is. Oh yeah, like, G-Piece. One thing about Calamity that, like, got me into it so much, hell, they made... I made my OC's lore based off Calamity, was just the music alone. And then I discovered the lore to this mod, it's like, holy fucking shit! And then you discovered Sam. Funny enough, you want to know what's something I found earlier that, like, when I found, I immediately thought of you, GP? Oh, Somebody drew My Little Pony versions of almost all Calamity bosses. Uh, what the fuck? INCLUDING SUPREME CALAMITOUS! I don't know why, but it feels cursed. It feels cursed to imagine it, but at the same time I'm not sure. Once I'm done all of this, I can send you the images. Although the only bad thing about those images is how much fucking text is written all over the goddamn ponies, because... For some reason, the artist decided not to put the lore about the bosses in the description, instead right over the fucking drawing. So then, yeah. so then there's like, the Supreme Calamitous Pony, but then there's just a giant wall of text covering her. Like, she's still visible enough you could make out who it is, but fuck, the text is just in the way. Alrighty, now that we have that money, let's go home, sell all of the Lunar Fragments for, let's see, for how much? Where's my Vortex Fragments? Where the fuck? Am I, am I high or something? Okay, no, there they are. Probably, but I don't know. I'm actually not high. Are you sure you're not high? I am positive. I think MG's high. MG? Yeah, I think... I'm mm. joking, I'm not... What the but, but crystal... Sure What's the crystally oh, no, methyly no, fuck no, are you no, doing? MG. No, you're sus. You were doing drugs behind my back, MG. No, I wasn't. You did drugs. Are you very sure about that, MG? You did drugs. I'm super duper sure. You no, I didn't. Well, I don't know about that, MG. I didn't do anything. You I did drugs sure and didn't so share with your boyfriend? MG. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my I did, god. I didn't do drugs. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I did. I never did drugs. Don't do drugs. All right. Yeah, don't do drugs, everyone. Yeah, don't do drugs ever. Drugs are bad, so give them to your kids and they'll feel better. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> Fuck it, Al. That's not how it's supposed to work. GP, if that gets me a strike or something, I am literally going to slam my head against my own desk. <laughs> the, the way, the way, the way B said. Okay, so it doesn't. You can just imagine me just sitting in front of her telling a story, and she's just there, just on the floor, just like, I don't remember this. All right, now it's that so that <laughs> melee potion I thought was there, I don't think actually appears until you defeat the. Oh wait, what the fuck? Guys, remember how I was supposed to complete the sulfurous rain? I never got to it, and it's still at um eighty nine percent. 
Okay, okay. Hello, welcome back. Yep. We are very close to fighting our first boss this episode. And an entirely new one we have not discovered before. As if you couldn't tell by the fucking thumbnail. Kill it. Fucking kill it. I don't know if I can, because this one's hard. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Oh, shit! You guys see this? Oh, Jesus Christ. So, out of this giant tornado... ...is the old duke. Oh. This is a boss that you need brain power to beat. Because this boss has a bit of brain power of his own, meaning that... Those charges? He could go, like, any random direction at any moment and cut you off guard. And that was the developer's intentional design, for this boss to cut you off guard. <laughs> adrenaline? Oh, fuck, he's, he went invincible as soon as I used Adrenaline, too. Oh, sweet, thanks, Ma. At least our weapon is shredding this boss's health. I'm scared to get close to him. Oh, yeah. Vortex! Vortex! Don't get close. Also, th if you guys couldn't hear, this boss's theme is godlike. One of my, like, I would say either top 5 or top 10 FAVORITE CALAMITY THEMES! I almost got sucked into that goddamn glory hole. Wait, did he go invincible again? Okay, no, no, no. He's right up there. Get away from me, you whore. When are you gonna go invincible? Or did you already go into your last phase and I just haven't realized- Okay, no, I think this is it. Yes, it is! It's it! Get ready to run. Come on! This is terrifying! Holy fucking monkey tits! Oh my god, what is that movement?! Yes, we got him! We did it! Oh, thank god! Anyways, let's see this let's see this item and its lore item. The lore item. Old Duke. Strange to find out that the mutant terror of the seas was not alone in its unique biology. Perhaps I was mistaken to classify the creature from its relation to pigrons alone. Alright, now that that boss is dead, believe it or not, the next boss is not the dragon. Because we need to go refight Providence in the underworld and get an item that we did not get from Providence. Now, the old Duke's weapons I'm probably not going to use at all, just because I have, like, much better weapons anyways. Actually, what's this do? Fires a harpoon that sticks to enemies and explodes. Meh, I prefer this because it ignores enemy iframes. This doesn't actually look that bad, though. Is it a melee weapon? Yep. Like, something tells me it's got potential, but for this time, I'm probably not going to use it. I have... I already have planned out, um, what I am going to use to fight the dragon. Now... Oh, whoop, whoop, I need the Providence Summoning item, so let's go down here into our storage, pick up the Profane Core, and then head to the Underworld Arena. And hopefully don't get fucked! Famous lost points. Because you know my history with Providence viewers. It's not a good history. It's even worse with the Devourer of Gods. And it's probably going to be ten times as worse as any of those with the dragon. But for now, 
Providence rematch. Ooh, boy. Okay, this isn't even a fight. Look at the damage I'm doing. There, it, this literally doesn't feel like a fight. This feels like a massacre. All of her attacks, though, still do big damage, so uh, avoid. Fuck my tits. There we go. There is the item you can only get for fighting Providence in the Underworld. The Elysian Aegis. Oh, damn. I wonder what would happen if I were to get this thing earlier, because that looks sick. Um, I don't need that. I will put Unholy Essence and Divine Geode into chests. And then I am keeping this Elysian Aegis on me. Because I'm trying to think. What am I missing? Right, I am missing Phantoplasm. Which means I have to re go refight Poltergeist, which... Honestly? Despite how many times I've died to him, I would say Poltergeist is still more tame than now even Providence or the Devourer of Gods. And that's saying something. Well, so for some reason, you guys probably heard it already in the last episode, but Poltergeist's theme sounds like it has a bit of um, Mario Galaxy in it. Where the fuck's the NPC? There we go. I'm not too sure which specific song in Galaxy. Like, I've played Galaxy before, it's just I forgot what song it is and where it even plays. Anyways, into the dungeon. Let me open up this Christmas tree cake. Christmas tree cake. Dude, these things are fucking godlike. Better than sex. That says something. Now, I would get Phantom Plasm the easier way, but I am not choosing the slower way because we have a fucking dragon to kill. Plus, fighting a boss for it is much more fun anyways, wouldn't you guys agree? Speaking of bosses... Fucking bring it on, Poltergast. Oh yeah, you could hear the Mario Galaxy in it already. You do be a stretchy boy, though. I just realized that by defeating this guy, we could also get tons of money off of him, which is amazing. Dosh. Let's try and hit him with my fucking. Oh my god, that damage! My oh, he's god. fucking eating my asshole now. Oh, you fucking prick! Oh! Oh, you are vagina. Oh! Fucking hell. Oh, you goddamn asshole. Why did I dash right into him? When you wave dash into your mm -hmm. classifying melee moment. Yup. Man, like even with post of hour of God's weapons, I still died. What? I don't feel fucking real. 
Where is the resurrection potions? Don't you sell them? Yes. Alright, um... Let me not be a dumbass this time. Because we really need that phantoplasm to make more ascendant spirit essence. We have everything else for it except phantoplasm. <gasps> Fucking hell. Come on, adrenaline's almost fully charged. There we go! Wait, I better be hitting him. Oh, Jesus Christ! We used adrenaline, but at what cost? Look at my health. I do not know how he managed to hit me that many times. Oh my fuck! you yeah you know, if I can't buy phantoplasm I'm gonna piss in my own mouth I can buy phantoplasm but did you guys see how much money I spent on all of that yes Basically, all my money from Astrum Deus is just gone. Although it was worth it, because we have lots more Ascendant Spirit Essence. Okay. At least it was worth it. I know what I need now. Oh! I literally have enough to make it. Alrighty, so by combining an Asgard's Valor, Elysian Aegis, 10 Cosmolite Bars, and 4 Ascendant Spirit Essence, we can make the Asgardian Aegis. Grants immunity to fire blocks and knockback, immune to most debuffs, 40 plus max health, and increased life regeneration. Grants a Supreme Holy Flame Dash, can be used to ram enemies. Press G to activate buffs to all damage, crit, chance, and defense. Activating this buff will reduce your movement speed and increase enemy aggression. 20 plus defense while submerged in liquid. And it's menacing! Fuck yeah! Alrighty, so, um... Let's see. Where is the feathers I got from the dragon foley? Because, um... Okay, I also need life alloy because... I think it is time, everybody that we go fight the dragon. This is the moment I have been dreading this entire playthrough. My first time I ever legit beat this boss, I died 27 times before I could even defeat it. And let's check how many times I died to the Devourer of Gods. I've died to him 14 times. When I fought Providence, I think I died to her ten times. You better expect a much higher death count with this guy. Because Yaron doesn't give a fuck. Okay, let me turn all of this into a jungle biome with the fountains here, because Yaron can only be fought in the jungle. And if the lunatic cultist tries and interrupts this fight, I'm gonna fucking piss all over him. And maybe his wife, like Eggman would say. Fucking love those fan dub Sonic videos. But anyways... It is time for... Our hardest fight yet. This is a fight that's like... If I beat it, I beat the mod. In my opinion.
even though that's not really how it works, it's just like, once this boss is defeated, you defeated the hardest boss. But anyways, let's fucking go. Jungle Dragon Yaron. We got this. You got this. You got this. You can do it. You got this, Ron. This is the boss of bosses. If you step into those tornadoes there, you instantly die! Which means you could only fight this guy in such a limited area because there is two tornadoes surrounding the area. And then if you somehow manage to get past the tornadoes, it will cause this guy to enrage, making the fight nigh impossible. I am getting fucking creamed right now. But at the same time, my DPS with this weapon and my accessories is very good. So it's basically just I need to stop getting hit as much as I usually do. Son of a whore! Moose balls! Yeah, we're going to be seeing that you were slain message a lot with this guy. He doesn't let up. Doesn't play nice. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Fuck, ne never. Oh, and he does a little something nasty with phase two. Oh, yeah! I just basically spoiled it. I meant to say when he goes down to 50% health. Nope, I just full on just said he has a phase two. And believe me when I say. It is never easy to get through phase two. It is imme it's instantly way harder than the first phase. Even though the first phase is already fucked up. I need to watch for when he spins, because that's like his most dangerous attack. Because when he does that, he causes literal bullet hell of flare balls. Oh, fuck! I'm He's spinning. Spin. Spin. Just use my adrenaline. Come on. Okay, he's invincible for now because he is learning new attacks. Holy fucking shit. I am really happy with how good this weapon's working though! No, holy shit! He came out of nowhere! And then... A crazy party, you gotta watch the border tornado. And then dodge all of those flare balls. Absolutely terrifying. This is probably one of my hardest bosses I've ever fought. Oh, you fucking pig! I almost got him to phase two. We're making progress, though. Yup, this weapon plus everything I'm using, the damage on it is so good. It's just we gotta endure this fight and avoid every attack at all costs. And when he spins, be prepared for hell. Spin. 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 Attempt number three. Oh, you fucking cunt! Hell, B, I would go as far as to say- Yeah, I've already, like, basically described it, but the Exomechs are easier than Yaron. Yeah, this guy is just terrifying. I got adrenaline, but lost it all! 
Fuck! We could have really used that. For you guys that, um, don't know, for the people in the VC, adrenaline fills up once you, um... If you don't get hit by a boss, it keeps filling up. If you get hit, it gets set back down to zero. God damn it. It gets set back down to zero. So, when you activate Rage after fully charging it, you get a massive damage boost that could save your ass. Oh, wow. She's gotta use it wisely. Yes. Especially with Yaron, since he likes to go invincible to learn new attacks. He goes invincible at 75, 50%, and then beyond that, I'm not too sure, because they updated this guy. And made him even harder! So right now, I am fighting a version of Yaron that is completely new to me. I've beaten older versions of this boss that were already made harder, and then they chose to make him even harder yet again. Adrenaline! He's spinning. He's invincible. Okay, he's no longer invincible. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck you. I hate when he spins. It's the unholy spin. The unholy spin. A spin that shouldn't exist. Dangerous spin. A terrifying Very spin. dangerous spin. spin. There he goes again. Spin. Oh god, the projectiles from his spin came down here. So that's awful. That's like... Even though he spins really far away from you, his projectiles will always catch up to you. We haven't even gotten to phase two yet, but we are, like B said, making progress. Pushing through. Sorry, trying to. Progress. Dude, when I beat this boss, I am going to pop off so goddamn hard. I don't care what my mother says, I am popping off as hard as I can. Now, with that potion of darkness I used... It immediately boosts your rage to near maximum, which means I could start out the fight with rage if I wanted to. It's just, I don't know if we're going to be able to really charge at this fight, because you don't want to get near Yaram, or Yaron. Okay, I did activate rage. Okay, he is getting hit by a bit of it, which is really good. Because rage, just like adrenaline, is another damage booster. Oh my god! Fuck! That was good too. But he he wanted to dash again, which sucked. Okay, he's invincible. And he's no longer invincible. Adrenaline! Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Big damage, big, big damage. Shit. Our health is really bad. Fuck! Where did those come from? So those tornadoes look insane. How much times have we died so far to Yaron? Oh, that's Devourer of Gods. Five deaths so far. 
Also, hey, B. Yes? If I can defeat Yaron, you see this boss checklist here? Mm -hmm. If I can defeat Yaron this episode, just maybe I will take a fight with these guys, too. Oh, boy. I'm pretty sure you remember them. I do. Big time. A goblin army is approaching- Pfft, That's the least of my worries! I bet with my power right now I could end the goblin army in under a minute. No threat whatsoever. Exactly. Dumbasses is what they are. Dumbass will Oh fuck. I thought I could destroy that fireball. Because there's some fireballs you can destroy in this battle, but I guess that wasn't one of them. Is this the crazy attack? Yes it is. Fuck. Okay, healing potion used. We have an entire minute worth of cooldown. That's another thing to know if non-Terraria players are in VC. Once you use a healing potion, you have a minute worth of cooldown. Big fucking damage. Wait, is he invincible? Oh! Phase 2! He doesn't have 55 health! He's invincible for now, but then I think once the singing starts in the song, I think that's when he becomes um, vulnerable. Yep! Oh, oh yeah, this music's insane. Oh! I really love the music. It's so good. Is he invincible again? Okay, yes. That is a weird health number to get invincible at. 43, was that? Oh! Oh god, you know what that thing was. The Spean of Destruction! Fuck. The- Okay, in Phase 2, in Phase 2, I'm gonna call it the Ultra Spin. Oh, why is that music so sad? The one that just started playing as I died. Okay, r really, Goblin Army? You want to know what's going to happen to you guys? That's what's going to happen. Get fucked. I am one-shotting anything that dare approach. These fucking cunts broke my door down. Freaking griefing? Now I have to paint that all again. You know, I'm not gonna worry about painting until the dragon's dead. For now, I am just gonna lay... I'm gonna lay absolute waste to this event that no longer has any meaning to me, considering I'm in the end game of Calamity now. Ooh, that's a good item. The first Shadow Flame. I would like to teleport out of my music room. Fuck you. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay. I thought that was something else that you could only get in hardcore mode from the Devourer of Gods. Uh, what health was Yaron when I died to him? Like, 
23? I believe so. Dude, I was close as shit! It was your closest attempt. <laughs> also, that was the entire goblin army, by the way. Fucking annihilated. They didn't get to breathe. Not once did any of those damn creatures breathe. I really hope I can beat Yaron because I don't know if MG's ever seen the Exo Max. I probably haven't. The Exo Max are like one of the coolest things to ever exist and my personal favorite boss in all of Calamity. This guy's not even my least favorite. Like, Yaron's a super fun fight. He's just definitely the hardest of all bosses. I'm interested, man. I would say my least favorite boss in Calamity would be the Perforators. They're a boss you fight very early in the mod. And it's not like they're hard or anything, it's just like their battle is annoying, kind of. And like the Perforator theme song is good, it's just like not really as good as the other Calamity themes! Holy sh- No! Oh, I thought I was gonna dodge all those flare bombs! I almost had adrenaline fully charged. Holy shit! Oh! Fuck! Okay, healing potion, one minute cooldown. He's invincible. He's no longer invincible. Oh, that fire tornado scared the shit out of me. Fuck. Oh god, B, it's happening again. Speed. Why do I hear boss music? No, 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 no! I was afraid there was gonna be more. We were close to 40. Like, you know what's scary about the speed? Okay. It's the fact that you have to focus avoiding that, but then you also gotta avoid Yaron charging at you, which is like his most damaging move. So it's like, it's super hard to focus on both attacks at once, which makes Spin the most dangerous ability of all of Yaron. Which, when he gets down to his last bit of health, all he does is charge and Spin. They knew how hard it was to dodge, so they literally made it so that... At his final brink of health, that's all he will do. I pre- I pressed the V key as soon as I got hit, which would have activated adrenaline, but it seems I got hit first. The heartbreak. Oh, fuck me. Is he doing it again? Oh my god, he's doing it again. Yaron, don't fucking charge at me while this is happening! Oh! I dodged him. Okay, that's a more friendlier spin. Because, like, there's a somewhat decent spin, and then there's that one. 
I could tell that one was the one that's really hard to avoid. Oh, what the fuck? Ooh. Oh, what the hell? 50 seconds to heal again. Meanwhile, survive the beginning of phase two. If you can. Okay, what the fuck? There's so many things that could hit me. And look at my health. And I don't know where... Oh, no! I knew that was gonna happen. How many times have I died? Eight deaths. I'm glad that the boss um, tracker... Or, yeah, the boss checklist tells you how many times you've died to him. So right now, it is... Eight nothing for Yaron. What? I saw the projectiles on that attack disappear. Why were they still there? You have been lied to. Yaron, your spins are bullshit. That's the Yaron fight in a nutshell. Mm. Mm. It's just, what? it's just all spin. It's all, it's all, it's all spin. Wait a minute, it was all spin? Or, always yeah. has been. Always has been. Start spin, start spin 360s. Oh, phase two time! Anime opening music. That's literally what this song sounds like, does it not? True. If Calamity was an anime, this would be the opening theme. He's spinning! Spin. Okay, whoever recommended me this weapon, thank you. Because this is doing great! Oh, I almost touched the tornado. That could have just ended the fight immediately. Fuck! What?! Holy fuck, it's Sonic the Hedgehog! Rolling around at the speed of sound. Also, Sonic Frontiers in that new movie is looking really good. Can't wait for that. Why does Sonic Frontiers just look like Breath of the Wild but Sonic? It looks that good. It looks open world too, which I'm really excited for. Sweet, we had Rage to start off the battle thanks to our Potion of Darkness. Hey, fellas! <laughs> I knew you guys would follow up, and that just made me so happy. Oh, what the fuck? I don't. Wait, Queen Bee? 
There's a van there's a boss in vanilla Terraria called Queen Bee. Queen Bee? Is that crazy queen spin? Bee. Oh god it is. <laughs> I thought you said Queen Bee. Uh, no! Yeah. And also, B is our queen? <laughs> what do you desire, our queen? Wait, I don't think I remember becoming a queen. <laughs> Always been the queen. What is it you desire, my queen? B, um, you're a fucking I queen. Hugs. <laughs> you'll get all I the hugs you'll ever want. That's. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> made at your service. I'm a queen. Whoa! Appreciation. Be appreciation day. Yes. What day would that be? The day I defeat Yaron, aka today. Oh boy! It's official then. Today is be appreciation day. Oh, I think I put a few too many hugs. Oh, um, well, th there's your hug. Just a few too many yeah, hugs. Yeah, that, that's certainly a lot of hugs. They are appreciated, though. Thank you. <laughs> just, just a few too many hugs, but it's fine. That's fine. Not a big deal. The more hugs, the better. Not a big deal. True, true. We'll put, we'll, we'll put, we'll put some of them in storage. <gasps> oh! Wait. <laughs> I would dress up in a maid outfit just to give B hugs. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh no! What? Oh hugs. I minimized my game, which got me killed. Bullshit. Do you need anything else, Queen B? Like a skeleton key or something? I would love skeleton keys. Fetching keys. Alright, skeleton keys coming up. <laughs> okay, my game still seems to be running fine, but yeah, you guys want to guess how I died? My freaking cursor went a little bit out of the Terraria tab and decided to minimize the fucking thing, which got me killed by the steam. God. <sighs> Computer sucks okay, octopus cock. Again. I'm glad I could have my friends here to support me on the hardest boss. Oh, fucking vagina tits. I wonder if those are a thing. Then again, I probably shouldn't think I about it. I would hope the fuck not. I'm sure the internet is... Yeah, uh, knowing the internet will probably be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. If it is, I'm gonna commit a felony. Okay, game. Are we seriously lagging now? I'll fucking laser you with alien fucking eyes and explode your fucking head. Oh, you are a cocksucker. Did I seriously just get hit by what I think I did? Believe it or not, I survived going inside the tornado because I had invincibility frames by getting hit by something else. Thank 
goodness. So whatever hit me in exchange, thank you. Pregnancy. What am I doing? Why did I just, like, stand there falling down? I knew it was my cue to start dashing, and then I just didn't dash for some reason. If there is one fight that I had all the power in the world to get good at, I would make sure it would be Yaron. Get out of here, Aquatic Scourge. This isn't your time. Gotta fight a much more serious boss right now. And you, Aquatic Scourge. Wait, he goes invincible at 90% health? That explains why I'm missing him. Because I'm not actually missing him, he's just invincible. At that percentage. B. Whoever recommended me this weapon is a literal god. Also, melee weapon proficiency level up again. Do agree. Oh. My. God. I just parried that somehow with my bounce. Okay, I was gonna save my adrenaline for the second phase, and then he started doing the speed, and it's just like, meh, fuck it. Speed. Speed. <laughs> that word's gonna become forbidden to me if that fucking- if the death counter goes beyond 100 with this guy. Oh no. No! What a way to start the second phase, wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah. Well, welcome to the final. F welcome to the final phase. Now die in one second. Where could I? Where do I put the aquatic scourge trophy? Okay, right there. This is our hall of fame. This is my hall of fame. If you're wondering, guys, I put plushies of bosses here, and I put trophies of them here. It's beautiful. I haven't collected all of them yet, as you can tell. There's seriously another event going on? Okay, we are having the Abomination cancel that immediately. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry, slimes. How do I make... How do I make Draconic Elixir? Um... Wait, no, did they remove Draconic Elixir? Wait, no, they didn't. That's why I can't make it. Because it requires the item you get for defeating Yaron. So in, in order to even get it, I need to kill Yaron. Okay, that's sick. I could dress up as Yaram if I wanted to. But it requires all of those. Is the Traveling Merchant here at all? Because I kind of want to get Tyrant Yaram's cape. Okay, no, Traveling Merchant does not seem to be here right now. Anyways, back to the main part of this episode.
Get fucked, MG. Say what now? Get fucked. But what? Should I say get crabbed? I didn't die. Crabbery? Crabs give me. Crab I me. just cra I crab throw for them. Gino getting a Pokemon. Oh my! Oh God. you! <laughs> you know what? We're gonna crab when Dylan beats this boss. I need to wait. Be sure not more minutes to get a Pokemon. Be sure not to um. Oh. What is it? Um. Be sure not I to like. Done that every time Dylan died. Be sure not to actually play Crab Rave over the music bot, because like I said before, copyright. Of course, I was just gonna put the emote. Yes. We're just gonna put the crab emote every time you die. Oh, every you know what? That's a good idea. Mode. That's a good idea. That's even better. Every dinner and death is one new crab emote in the chat. Oh god. I'll count how many times I've died after this attempt, so that way you could add that many crabs in the chat. What fit? Sounds good. We'll go one by one. Okay, second phase, and I'm at second phase. Second phase. Who wants to start the train first? Um. Oh wait, but I don't have the same same emote as you guys. The transparent one. I got you. With the power of crab, we have gifted you crab. Yay! With the power of crab, right? with the power of crab, you have gifted me the power to defeat Yaron. I just need to unlock that power. With the power of uh, crab, come to this body. How did I avoid that tornado? I may have just insulted my best friend in the worst way possible, and I'm sorry for saying. That's going on YouTube, she's by the way, GP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's, she's gonna, gonna watch this. this gonna be so she's gonna watch this, and she's gonna rip your titties off. Please, please, no, they're covered by fur. It's gonna hurt. Thank you, B. I'm at six health, guys. I'm at eight health. I one more hit and I'm dead. No! Alright, so that was uh since it was GP's idea, GP starts it first. Then All right. then I'll do it. Now let me <laughs> check how much total die times I've died to Yaron. I have died to him fifteen times. I'm All trying right. to find it. In Which, ladies and gentlemen, Yaron has now officially passed Devourer oh, of Gods. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Yaron passed okay, Devourer of Gods with how many times he's killed me. Which is really scary. Because of MG. What do you mean? I mean what do, what, what do hey, I that mean, wasn't what do the mean? deal. It's obvious. That wasn't the deal. That's how many times I died to Yaron, uh, not not MG's existence. But you mean... <laughs> <laughs> you mean the Pokemon thing? Ah. Yeah, you just don't, yeah, you, your, your Pokemon counts as one extra death Goodness. Oh, okay. Because knowing Dylan, he's gonna get a really bad Pokemon. Oh god, yeah. Unless I somehow get a shiny Hoopa like I did the one time. Yeah. Or like me, getting the final goddamn Arceus fucking element yesterday. I have acquired all 18 of them. I have full power. He is unstoppable. With great power. Power. Oh, MG, With it's your time. Power, comes great big oh. booty bitches. Great big oh, booty bitches. Big booty bitches have great power. Oh wait, Dylan's God. dead. Do I yep. cover? You cover. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, that... I just found something that could be related to a reason I am not defeating Yaron. What's that? My elemental gauntlet does not have the best reforge. And I'm broke again! Oh boy, looks like you're gonna have to get money. 
I'm a guess I'm a go fishing. Oh my god. Come here, fishy fishy. Yo, know, I'm still gonna try even though I don't have menacing on everything. You can do it, Dylan. And if you don't, don't they will crab rave. They will crab. <laughs> they will crab rave for as long for as long as eternity, as long as I keep dying to Yaron. Yeah, it's Beast's turn. Great come, with great defeat comes great big crap rave. Yes, that is correct. I agree. It's unfair, a random person stuck on an ice right now is smiling. What? Oh yeah, guys, you wanna um, guess uh, what percentage of health Devourer of Gods was when he killed me on one of my attempts? What? Mm, zero, zero point two. Oh no! Uh. And, and then guess what happened when I killed him? What? He killed me at the same time, but it counted as the win for me, thank god. Oh, that is lucky. Thanks. Wait, you know, you know what that calls for? Another crapper? No, wait! <laughs> no, it calls for all- I'm funny! Party. It calls for all oh. party. Wait, guys, phase two, phase two. Pinky party. Postpone the pinky party, cause phase two's begun. Oh. <laughs> all right. no. This is serious time. Oh, wait, the, 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 the pinky party! We'll have the pinky party it. once I defeat Yaron. No, I want it right now. <laughs> I have to have my satisfaction first of defeating this dragon. Alright, well, I right, pinky, oh, pinky, um, MG, you know what you might propose. Um, yes, wait, which one out of them all? You, you know which, you know which one, I, I believe oh, you oh, know yeah, which one. Oh, yeah, I do, I do. I do, I do. Yeah. No! <laughs> yeah! No, alright, cover it. That's a crab! Crab! <laughs> Feed up the crab! What's the <laughs> <laughs> Oh! That's a nice fire tornado that's still there. <laughs> I, I love the emo. I have a piggy for extra luck. Yes. Yeah, these pinkies you see in the chat, Dylan, if you're looking, they give you good luck. I hope! Let, let's see if let's let's see if you guys can prove that for defeating Yaron right now. Let's see if that theory is true. It must be this attempt, though. I love how the pinky stop it in perfect pattern thing too. Wait, are they going in perfect <laughs> sync with the music? Yeah, they're going in perfect sync. Yeah. That's gonna stop at phase two because phase two is a little faster. It's okay. We'll find another way to Watch GP, like, purposely go and make that emoji somewhat faster just so it syncs with Roar of the Jungle Dragon. Oh, on it. Oh my god. Oh my god. A menace to society. Yeah. I had wait, adrenaline wait, I and lost it all. I found an emote that describes Terrarian. What, amazing? It's just, it's just a consistent Bean. loop. It's just a consistent loop. That doesn't, that doesn't describe Terraria, that describes Yaron. Bean. He goes, Bean. 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 For the second phase, though, we could use this one. Speaking of the second phase. Perfect. Get that anime opening music in my ears right now. Uh, time to, time to use it. For luck! Uh, Wait, who's next? Oh, Yoshi, you're next for the crowd three. Oh, I know. He dashes so fast now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, fast.
No! The pinkies were helping me in the first phase, and then second phase came out, and then Yaron's charges like just become so fast. Okay, we need a stronger emote. We we need the fastest pinky party emoji possible so we could outspeed Yaron's charges. Oh my god, this one! This one! <laughs> okay, that's pretty okay, I'll show you some fast ones too. Take these. Oh my god! Rattle me bones in fear. For phase Wait, two. What the, is this what the hell? Vagina world. This video will make you come in less than four seconds. <laughs> no. <laughs> no clickbait. Oh. Me clicking on an ad, this video will- or me clicking on the side ad on a website. <laughs> this video will make you come in four seconds. Not a virus. <laughs> Phase two. Did we put the e oh yeah, we did. We need to outspeed Yaron. He is so fast. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh no, is he doing it right there? No, yeah. That is a dirty spot to use Spin. I, I avoided it though. I actually dodged Spin. it. Spin. 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 Wait guys, guys, guys. Actually chill for a moment because I think this is the final part. I think. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, come on. Just don't do the spin in a terrible area. Okay, I don't know how I feel about him doing it right there. <sighs> did he even do it? Okay, yes, he did. I avoided all of that. How did I get hit? Oh no, I got hit by the flame tornado. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you dirty whore. <laughs> He's five percent. No, it was so close. Oh, I thought that was gonna be the one where a miracle happens. 
Oh uh, no. Do I got a crab? Yeah, you got Don't a crab. Play. 19 <laughs> deaths. Death. Oh my Another god. Death. I was right there. I mean, you're making progress, though. Oh, hell you're yeah, I better. am. Once he goes to, like, the 20s in health, that's when I'm gonna need pure silence, because, like, the 20s is, like, his final part. There is nothing harder than when he gets down to 20% health. Because all he knows is speed and dash. Which are literally his two most dangerous and most commonly used abilities. You know, itching during a fight like- or having to itch during a fight like this really sucks. Oh yeah, he's most certainly spinning, all right. Fucking pussy tits. <laughs> okay, he's invincible. I dashed right into one of the spin flames. That's a tornado. Well. I, um, uh, I, I accidentally yeah. stepped inside the tornado. Crabber. Oh, wait. You died? Yep. Oh. I didn't even get yeah, to phase crabber. two that time, unfortunately. What the fuck? Summoner weapon proficiency level up? That's... I certainly wasn't expecting that. I was expecting melee. Hell, I could use some more melee weapon weapon up or proficiency level up, because those are useful. Especially considering the weapon I'm using against Yaron is a melee weapon. Smash Brothers Melee! The air is getting warmer around you. That message scares me because that just means phase two. At least I know with the music when the guy starts singing, who's DM Dokoro, by the way. That's when his um, invincibility frames come up! I'm gonna die! Another one. Another one. Crab Rave! Oh, fuck my tits and ass. I've been, I've been at this for almost an hour and a half. I just checked my OBS. And it's going well. Or is it? Good question I can. Can I collect my Pokemon now? Oh no, can you? Let me check. And no, you can't have a crab raid. It's 13 seconds! Oh wow, well, that's a crab raid! Oh boy! <laughs> 13 seconds! You're bad, MG. You're bad, you're terrible, you're absolute dog shit, your mum's adopted. You're literally free. Oh wait, GP, oh, GP. God. Let me add on, let me add on. You're literally free. You're freer than the samples they give out at Costco. Oh my gosh! 
best fucking right. I just I just killed a woman. I am upset. I just killed a woman. You made me upset, Dylan. Just killed a woman. Is it good? I've killed a woman and Can now I the collect my Pokemon. I've killed a woman and now the entire LGBT community is gonna accuse me of sexism. Fuck! I, I think you're wait so like long. Your sexism there. <laughs> I wait so long for a Pokemon just to kill what is this? I got an E. Wait, an unknown an E? An unknown yeah. E. MG! Crab Rave! Crab Rave. He's dead again. Crab. Crab Rave. Crab. He's dead again. Crab. I find it funny because in the chat they're not going synchronized for me right now. For me, they're all synced. That, must, that, that sounds unsatisfying. Asshole tits. Fuck. This fight makes me miss progression, because if I want to progress, I have to kill Yaron. Because if I don't, then a material that he spawns once I kill him will not spawn if I don't kill him. And therefore, I am at a halt. I'm going to call the Pope if one more of those goddamn flare bombs hit me. Guys, this is painful. The closest that you've gotten was five. And now it's like I can't even get back into phase two. I think the pinkies actually helped. We might need to put them back in. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait, which ones? The, the ones that go fast? Yeah. The fast ones when it hits phase two. And then for the first phase, oh. the ones that perfectly sync with the music. Oh, wait, wait, so... First that one, yeah. Okay. There. <sighs> okay. Why are you spinning in the very middle? That's like the most dangerous place you could do it. Spin. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus. He's doing it in the middle again. <laughs> He just likes to do that. It's because it's I keep going in the middle, but that's because I need to, though, avoid him. Like, I need to go everywhere in this fight. Oh god, phase two. Quick, the pinkies! Got pinkies! Oh, phase two? Yep. You phase two. Go, go, go.
I failed to put the unmasked. Oh no! Shit, and he just okay, started speeding too. There. <laughs> Let's hope that helps. Oh. 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 Oh, why didn't I go down? Like, taste my titties. Who's next? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Hopefully. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, the pinkies. I mean, the the phase one pinkies are working, but I think the second one aren't. It's that phase. It's that phase two is way too strong. Okay. Our pinkies are not strong enough. There must be one of them. Stronger pinky. Stronger pinky. It has to be pinky, right? Or can it be another? Pinky I can be another right, pony. I, right I almost said a Pokemon. Fucking vagina ass. You know, when I was looking at those pony versions of the Calamity bosses earlier, if there's one for Yaron, I'm gonna be terrified. Dude, I think there was one for Yaron too. Oh no. What is. What is that? My dick. My dick is on. Bradley came up with this. We oh. need stronger pinkies, the Discord recommendations. <laughs> I... I don't think that's what we... <laughs> yeah. I guess it works too! Yeah, whatever fucking works. <laughs> if only we could, like, show this in the video. MG, crab raid! It's only showing my, um, game, oh my MG. God. It won't work. And then yeah. if it gets in seven edges, so that's what's gonna happen. Hello. That pony version of Yaron's gonna haunt my dreams. Don't worry, it's just this human version of Pinky's gonna haunt mine. <laughs> One stop it's... simply not Pinky. <laughs> but this is like, um, her Equestria girl, right? I think. Oh No, 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 he's doing it again, guys. No. <laughs> Why do you do it in the middle? <laughs> the image of Pinky. It's it, it just, just, just huh. Wait, it didn't help though. Dylan died. Oh. Oh, it definitely helped. <laughs> oh god, phase two incoming. Uh, what do we- what do we do? For phase two? We use your head. Oh! Yeah, Here's we can my... do that. <laughs> Hang on, I want to see if the silence will work. Wait, Let's what? try that, because silence is where I play the best. Alright, silence it is. Here we go. Okay.
Why lag? Oh my fucking god. This fucking computer's a piece of shit. Okay, you guys can talk again, but once phase two happens, that's when the silence needs to be required, cause phase two isn't working. Got it. Be already crab brief. Ah. Oh, I can't fuck. Go I'm trying to find an emote, but I I can't find it. that that suits phase two. You're trying to find that Vagina sauce. I agree. Wait. <laughs> Understandable, Dylan. Have a nice day. Fucking slime mount's gonna get me killed. That's why I could change the Does this one work for phase two? Oh my god. Okay, the more I'm doing this fight, the no the more I know his attack pattern. This is a very good sign. Say, says that as I get hit twice. Fucking Christ. Why are you two like this? Yeah, because... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because... <laughs> because B and I... are smart. Yes. That don't is make, this makes you small. I, think just, I don't think that's how this one works. And what does it make us? I can't answer that because I don't know myself, but I'm concerned regardless. I think we did a good job, B. I agree. <laughs> he was literally about to enter with, phase I two. That guy. <laughs> I can't find the third Okay, Yaron spins can go fuck themselves. Oh wow. goodness. Like, it's literally probably the only thing that's getting me killed other than his charges. <laughs> his charges could also lick my ball sack. Get your tongue in there real deep. He's gonna spin right here after he charges. Yep, there he goes. I'm learning. And I got hit by it again. And he is he's fucking doing it again. He's just spamming it. Actually, was that even Okay no, that was the light one. This is the heavy one. Fuck my ass, dude. God fucking damn it. That was close. Oh god, phase two. Uh, guys? Okay, yeah, okay. I, I remember what I said yeah. before. The silence helps. That's why you guys were being silent. Thank god. Alright, let's see what this can do. The power of silence.
fuck! <laughs> Oh my god! Wait, how much is left? I have died officially over my original record 28 times. No, but like, how much HP? I think less he was five. at like, wait, less than, f I don't think it was less than 5, I think it was like 13 something, maybe 11. Oh. Um. If it was less than five, though, I probably would have cried. Um. Hell, I've cried to Poltergast before when I used to hate him. I hated Poltergast with a burning passion. But now they actually made him fun and fair. Even though he's still kind of a dick. I minimized my game again. I just lost this battle. This is fucking nuts. Like, people say Taboo from Smash Brothers Brawl is difficult. No way in comparison to this. Not a chance. Phase two again. I need that but I need that healing potion like right now. Come on game, come on game. There we go. Now just don't get hit. Oh god. What? He is dead. What killed me there? Like, I. The flame wasn't touching me! What killed me? What the fuck? I wasn't getting hit for a while, too. I think I know what I fucked up. I think I activated adrenaline when he went invincible. It's hard to keep track of when he goes invincible at the lower health because you die so many times sometimes that you don't even get to see the second phase for a good while.
Do you see how insane those spins get, though, when he's in second phase? Like, the flames on the spins in a second phase just kind of go everywhere. He do really spin. Oh, fuck yeah, he does. A little dangerous, but... Yeah. That didn't even touch me. Go fuck yourself, Calamity. Okay, actually, don't fuck yourself, but fuck the bomb. Fuck the flare bomb that just hit me when it literally shouldn't have. It, like, literally gave me a haircut, if anything. Oh, fuck you. Okay, that's cheap as fuck. I'm gonna need to freaking get more money to buy the ocean teleporter potions, cause... I'm running out of them. What happens if I sell a little bit of Eula Bloom? Oh sweet, that'll give me lots more. Sweet. Okay, so we got a good amount of those again. Oh, I need to go back and sharpen my sword, cause... Or it's not even a sword, it's like a little spear thing, whatever this is. Because sh I think when I sharpen that thing, I start doing better. Like, I'm able to get to the final phase and all that, just simply because I'm doing more damage. Because when you sharpen your weapon, it increases their armor penetration. Which just means even more damage. It's like one of the worst places he could spin. Oh my god, I dodged it though. Holy shit. I'm learning how to dodge spin. Slowly but surely. Few more seconds left to heal. All healed up. Alright, let's give him a fight now. What? Why does he go that fast suddenly? He shouldn't be going that fast until he gets down to like his final 30 bits of health. Fucking hacker. I wonder how long this video is going to be. I have no idea, but I'm certainly not stopping until Yaron's dead. 
Hell, I don't even know if I'm going to stop it when Yaron dies. I might keep on going and just playing and doing whatever I need to do next. Hell, after this fight, what I need to do is prepare for the Exomax. Because all the weapons I want for the Exomax, I don't have all of them just yet. Oh shit, it's happening already. My health is not good for this. So it's just gonna be all avoiding these attacks. Holy shit. Why? How? You guys saw that. He didn't even really touch me, right? Yeah. His hitbox is fucking awful. Robbery. I have died to him 32 times. Jesus Christ. Bro, like... As soon as this video is uploaded, I'm immediately going to type in the comments the th thumbnail when I finally beat him. I'm just going to capture it, skip for best part of the video. On five seconds to heal up. Holy shit, that damage was great.
Oh god, there it is again, boys. Oh my fucking god! There's one potion I know I haven't bought that could possibly change things entirely. Nature Blessing Potion grants Dryad's Blessing buff which increases not only defense but regeneration. And I need that regeneration more than anything that battle. What happens if I were to sell a bunch of this charred ore? Because I need the money to buy that potion. Good question. I also want to buy my potions of darkness again, because when I had them, that they, those were helping. Alright, I have two new potions. Well, one's, one of them's returning. Potion of Darkness and my new potion, Nature Blessing Potion. I really hope this Nature Blessing Potion is what we need to kill this boss. I think we got it. Actually, I don't know if Nature Blessing increases either defense or damage reduction. But if anything, I hope it's damage reduction. Fuck me, dude. I got hit twice by that. Fuck me. Okay, bitch. 
You know what? I also realized before that fight even started, I didn't sharpen my weapons. Wow. I I need yeah. to remember this goddamn shit. But there's just so much to remember. Because it's Calamity, and literally everything happens in Calamity. I'm not giving up. Okay, this DPS is much, much better now that the weapon is sharpened. Fuck. Dick stains. Not healing yet. I'm gonna save it when most absolutely necessary. When? No idea, but let's figure out what happens from here on forward. Fucking Christ! I was literally dodging so good! And now my friend's messaging me urgent help. Well, figure out how to follow that situation yourself, bud. Because I am trying to kill a dragon. How to slay your dragon? That way.
fuck? Holy shit. It's gonna be the highlight of the episode, or like the entire playthrough once I finally win. Oh my god. Like, like I've said before, once I beat this boss, I beat Calamity. In my opinion, that is. Because <sighs> not even Exo or Supreme is this crazy. Melee weapon proficiency level up. That's a miracle. It happened again. Fuck. My. Ass. Fuck it deep. Wait, where- who's next on the, um, crab train? It's GP. Yes. <laughs> like, this feels like- I bet we're getting paid for all these goddamn crap. 37 deaths. We're just paying for crap right now. Are, are we, we, are we gonna get paid? Crap. Are you gonna pay us though? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So you better be paying me for all these crap, man. Yes. I'm fishing for crap. 
I expect, I expect, I expect a full fucking file of my life support for this. Dude, I'm gonna give you bank for that. It's not an easy yeah. task. I'm expecting one Dogecoin as payment. Oh no, don't bring Dogecoins into this! <laughs> I want my payment of one Dogecoin. Oh god! No. Give me my payment of Dogecoin. Before I burn down your family. Oh god. No. Oh, Dylan, you're on the line now. <laughs> I'm on the what? Yeah, on the line. Oh, I am? Shit. Sucks to suck. Yeah. Sucks to suck. Cute. Oh fuck. Why, man? Like, I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm literally dashing out of the way and I'm still getting fucking dicked in the cunt. This has been over two hours of me dying to Yaron. This is fucked. To the core. I bet the Calamity devs were thinking of me when they did the most recent update and they just thought, fuck you. Oh, goodness. Oh, you previously died to Yaron 27 times? That's cute. This regeneration is much better with that freaking life or the Dryad's Blessing potion. But it's still no excuse to slack. I need to give it my all.
There is... You don't just defeat the boss for your first time originally and then just lose the ability to beat him. That's not what fucking happens. You don't just fucking lose the ability to defeat a boss. And I haven't. I know that for a fact. This video is not going to end without the defeat of this fucking asshole. It's really not, is it? How long has it been? A very long while. But once we yeah, defeat I... him, we could finally fucking celebrate. Yeah, you're, you're gonna put a crab ring this time, Dylan. Oh god, yeah. We've been putting so many of them. Hell, it took me three and a half hours the one time in 2018 to kill the Ravager when he got updated. And that was on death mode. I'm playing on revengeance mode. I want to see this magical ma moment happen with my friends on YouTube. And I will have my magic moment. And all my friends will be there to witness it. Fucking Christ. I just put my wallet in my mouth and just tried to eat it. Whoa! Oh that, that, goodness. That and that wallet has both American and US, or wow, both Canadian and American dollars in it. Oh goodness. Hey, it's a flavor mix. One tastes like, one tastes like maple syrup, one tastes like shit. What do you guys think of that f combination? Syrup and shit. You're not wrong. <laughs> America? This is Baca. I thought he said Sussy Baca. How the fuck? Because I've heard. I blame, um, um, I blame yeah. B for that one. You blame what B? Wait, I, I thought do? I thought we were blaming MG. <laughs> no, I blame uh, B. Okay. But... Wait, it's it's B appreciation day. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Wait, when the hell oh, did we agree on this? I forgot. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we, we did that earlier. I kind of forgot. Uh, it's, but it's not that day anymore for me. Oh, okay. dang. Shit, so... I'm a bitch. Shit, so he gets to call the Pope. Fuck. Hearing the beginning of that, of the Phase 2 theme is like the scariest part. Okay, so he goes invincible at 45% health. Oh my god, he appeared in the chat. Pretty, pretty yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just say Dylan death counter. That hit me? Whoa. It exploded as soon as I even got near it. Like, that... That timing is awful. Yes, I'm about to commit a felony. This fight is the literal definition of a felony. And you know what the part about this fight that really pisses me off? People are able to no-hit this boss on death mode. And here I am struggling to even just beat it in Revengeance. That is insane. How do you not get hit by this fucking dragon? Dude, I can no-hit the Exomax, probably. In fact, I've been practicing it, and I've been getting insanely good at it. Wait, B. And someone's knocking on my door. Nice. Alex, this probably, yeah. like, is not the time you want to do that, Alex. This is Jungle Dragon Yarn. I'll see what you have after this attempt, okay? Well, you guys want to know something funny? What's up? Yeah. So, Alex just walked in there, but thankfully when she walked in, she was, like, really calm. When, 
when Dylan walked into my room in the episode where I was fighting Devourer of Gods, he fucked up an attempt where I was going to win by coming in my room and screaming at the top of his fucking lungs. And it's all on video. Goodness. Yeah, that's kind of what they do. Is, let me see what my sister yeah, has. They can't, they can't do that. That big stick, okay, well, that was worth it because she gave me a Yoshi ornament for the Christmas tree. Oh, cute. And it's adorable as hell. You gotta show us. I will. Yes, that's English, Greeny. That is very English. How does Greeny fuck up so much words? Well, uh, I do question as well. Where is he from again? Ohio or something? That's about right. Then yeah, how the fuck? How the fuck does he fuck up so much? You are going to Ohio. It doesn't sound so bad. I thought he was in phase two for a moment because, like, his roar got cut off. The vagina hurts. I can't exactly confirm that, but maybe those two can. Not that I want them to confirm it, but, you know. Wait, what are we confirming? Nothing. The no, vagina no, no, hurts. No. I said that after I got hit. No, no. <laughs> I mean... FG, uh, no. No. B. Yeah, yeah, B. No. FG, no. What? The yes. Yes. No, don't drag B into this. She what? I mean, you said it was too. No, yeah, there, but I didn't mean B. I mean that to drag B into this. She hasn't confirmed it. What? What's going on? Okay. Nothing, nothing, B. Nothing for an innocent person. Oh. Uh, I won't call her innocent for person now. I did! I mean, yeah, no. What were you talking about? No, I'm just trying to find a charge. Oh, well, B, um, do you really want to know what was going on, B? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad I <laughs> People now. need to be more like B. <laughs> In a world where everyone is just like B. B. In this world, there are five kinds of people. Um. You have the bees. You have the bees, the buddies, the stooties, the Dylan, and then there's literally every other fucking person. Every other person? Oh my no. god! And he's dead again, Kremlin. Wait, wait, who's the my turn. Yes. Oh. Let me just, uh, do that. Yes. Yes. The, but the healing potion is really helping, I will say that. Or the, uh, what is yeah, it? The Dryad's Blessing far. Potion. You've been getting pretty far. I just need to stop getting hit so much, is the problem. Especially twice in a row with one same attack. That especially needs to stop.
fuck? You know how at the beginning of this video I, I warned people about excessive language and offensive shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I had the right to. Jesus Christ! Oh, wait, was that another death? That, that was wow. Oh, am I next? No, it's me. Like, uh. one question I really want answered is HOW IS HE THAT QUICK?! Oh no, not x-ray hacks! He's using all the hacks. Oh, hello, Tornado! Oh no, this is a really bad spot. I had no choice! Into the fire. That can't swallow crab and cheat. I had no choice but to embrace fire. 
Oh, my positioning in this battle is so shit! I always go to the worst locations to have him do his spin. Oh, I fucking will. Okay, that's some good positioning there. That is also a good spot. I just saw the main chat Lola saying, I don't remember MG being a squee. Dang it. Yeah, when the fuck did you become a squee? When the fuck did you get that transition? What the fuck? Like, um, two hours ago, I'm guessing. Oh, what the? Oh, what the? You never noticed? <laughs> okay, that's a bad spot for him to use the spin, but wow, his health went down fast there with that adrenaline charge. Oh, wait, no, he didn't even... Sp well, he did spin, but he didn't do, like, the big one. Oh, fuck me. In the asshole. I need better wings, but I guess what? I can't get better wings because I have to beat Yaron first. It is so hard to go f from having wings that literally carry you to the very top of the world to wings that can't even make the screen go pitch black because you're not that high enough in space. I was doing so good with using adrenaline too. I was timing yeah. it perfectly. She already put the perfect in the chat. Oh, what is this? What is this? Finger me now! <laughs> what? Wait a minute! <laughs> what? 
What did you say? I just said Lo- I said Lola finger me what now. What did you say? I said Lola finger me now. <laughs> she would! I just- I just gasped over here. Ah. I bet if she did that, I could beat Yaron. Quote of the year award goes to <laughs> Oh my god I can't go that way Okay now we can but uh you can't go that way without being fisted up the ass by a goddamn dragon Wait, let me let me check the death counter. Jesus Christ, 48. What were the calamity devs thinking? Making this fight even harder. I miss the old version. Yo, B. Yes? Now imagine Calamity Hardcore, and you have to fight Yaron. Now imagine that! No. Fuck. That. Shit. That'd be hard. That would be too hard. That would be just... How are you even supposed to beat this guy on your first attempt? Not possible. Like, you need to learn this fight inside out in order to win. Oh shit, that was close. Go to the fucking Wendy's, Duke! All that sweet ass adrenaline, gone. I didn't- I didn't think Lola meant it like that. I did it until she said greedy beat. Yeah. Dang it, Lola.
down there. He did it! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm fucking crying! Oh my god! I'm fucking crying! Oh my god! We it. Guys, we need to have blood. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm shaking! Uh -huh. At the, when he got to 10% health, I realized I had adrenaline, or not adrenaline, but rage all along. You made up the story, you are Oh my god. I can't control my body. I can't stop it from shaking. How many times did I die? 48 deaths. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can celebrate with a pinky now. Wait, what is this? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Summons a rideable perfect Lezer Yaron clone? Oh my god, I'm flying on Yaron. Because you know that's allowed. Probably is not Ken. <laughs> We did it, boys. Oh, a fox drive. It summons a fox pet? Oh, I like my Polterchan, though. I want to keep on my Polterchan. I like her. The burning sky. Holy shit! They changed that weapon a little bit. Terma Pebbles. Why do I have an item called Terma Pebbles? Wait, what's this stuff right here? Oh my god, it's a vanity set for the ancient, whatever you call it, demon shade armor. I love that. I want to put that on. Wait, no, not the fucking alligator helmet, you prick. <laughs> and I got the chicken cannon. Despite the name and it sounding corny, this weapon is insane. Also, after we defeated Yaron, we got a message in the chat saying, A godly aura has blessed the world's caverns. Oh, and we also got the final dawn! If I ever do a rogue-only playthrough one day, I am definitely using that against Exomax. Because that is, like, their weakness, you could say. But holy shit, everyone. Yaron is officially dead. This man is dead. He is no more. And we're we're about to have we're about to have proof of it. Cuz if we go down deep enough, that message that said a godly aura has blessed the world's caverns, look at this new treasure. This is Arik ore. This is the best treasure you could find in all of calamity. Let me check the time on this video. Oh my god. Yo, B, you guys, you know what I'm gonna predict? So you know how I died 48 what? times to Yaron? Yeah. Watch, the my Exomax record is gonna say something like two deaths, one win. I I'm fucking calling it. And then with Supreme Calamitous, it it would probably be the same thing. I never thought I would see this fucking day. Actually, what am I kidding? Of course I would. I have my friends here to assist me. See, I knew, 
I knew turning to my friends for this battle would be the right idea. The power of friendship. Exactly. As if MLP yes. didn't scream that already. Uh, what I defeated screamed that louder than anything. I... Is it bad I still can't stop shaking? This feeling uh, is fucked. But in a good way. Like, I just feel genuinely happy. And now, instead of fighting Yaron over and over again and dying to him so many painful amount of times, here I am in the underground. Mining something created by the gods. Oh! I don't think I even read uh, Yaron's lore item. Oh, I know, it's right here. Jungle Dragon Yaron. I would not be able to barrel world without my faithful companion by my side. Fortunately, fate will have it so that it is a world I shall never have to see, for better or for worse. You know, if that dragon was only the pet to Yaron, I don't want to imagine what Yaron himself is going to be like. Wait, oh my god, I know the best thing I could do. Oh my god. Because the Aragor is here, I can use the Ancestors map and refresh the map, and now let's see if I'm correct. Uh, yep, it is showing me where Aragor now is. Which is really going to help us find that. If you're wondering what that creaking is in the background, it's always my damn chair, cuz... Yep, I need to get a new one. This one falls apart piece by piece, by piece day by day. What do I need to make Arik bars? Yaron Soul Fragment and, um... Arik Ore. Twenty-five Arik. First thing I immediately need to do is craft Auric Tesla armor. And make some more money, because now that I've defeated Yaron, this NPC is now selling it for 15 platinum, its treasure bag. We are we are going to need bank for that. 15 platinum is massive. Hell, if I sell all 25 of these Auric Bars, I will get 15 Platinum. Hell, I bet defeating Devourer of Gods would be no issue right now. But I don't necessarily want to attempt that again until I create Auric Tesla armor. And there's also something else I want to create. The Auric Quantum Cooling Cell. Which, the materials for that don't seem too bad to get, actually. Oh, I see what they did there with the endothermic energy in the core of Ilium. That's fucking clever! Also, do you guys know what the Aura Quantum Cooling Cell is? No, but if I had to take a guess, there'd be something on the lines of drugs. Well, you see, the description should foreshadow something can be placed in the code breaker completing it. The completion of the code breaker allows you to make contact with its original creator. Attempting to do so may have dire consequences. How dire? Uh as dire as uh spawning the Exomax. Oh, so as dire as empty that. <laughs> Wait, MG's ass is Wait, MG's ass is more Hold on, hold on. I need to I need to say this. MG's ass best weapon to use against Exomex, not clickbait. I defeated Exomex on Malice mode. Make the pain and suffering. Wait, yeah, like I can just imagine MG points her ass at like let's say Ares of the Exomex and it just fucking explodes. MG, I need your ass though, because if I don't have it, I can't be I can't be Dreadon. I don't see why you're complaining, MG. Look at me, I'm complaining. 
don't know what's happening in the arm. Basically, B, what I re B, what I require is MG's ass, because if so, I will never be able to defeat the Exomex in Malice mode. Are you yeah. saving? Oh my god. I just I just thought of something <laughs> hilarious. We're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> Bro, we've been we swearing enough. MG, we've been swearing enough. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> but yo, um, guys, listen to this. MG's ass is an item that can only be obtained in Malice mode, and it has a 1% chance to drop from Jungle Dragon Yaron. Today, today's sponsor is brought to you by MG's Ass. Now, I know you're thinking, this is a very random, out of nowhere, unexpected sponsor. But let me tell you, this is a real sponsor, and yes, it's gonna be a part of this video. Now, allow me to tell you about the MG's Ass. You see, it's mine. Don't touch it, it's fucking mine. Can I, can I use it if I ever get to the Exomex in Malice mode? What if Yaron drops it? He has an only 1% chance to do so. Yeah. No, it's my, it's my MG. No one touches her besides me. I guess I'll never beat Malice Mode! <laughs> Brother, well, there is another solution. There is? There is another solution. You steal mother. Mother Mia? Yeah. Wait, I just thought... Acquire, if you're able to acquire Mother Mia, that might also help you with your mission. I just thought of something, um... MG's ass has a 1% chance to drop from Yaron. Only on Malice <laughs> mode, it can one-shot the Exomex. Lola's ass has a 1% chance to drop from the Exomex on only Malice mode, and can one-shot Supreme Calamitous. Mia's ass can only drop from Supreme Calamitous in Malice Mode at a 1% chance and could instantly defeat the boss rush. But there is also a requirement Susan And then there is the 1% reward for beating the boss rush only on Malice Mode. With GP's ass, with GP's oh. ass, you could one-shot Tyrant King Yarum. So how's your day been being? <laughs> how's my how day's been, been going well. How's your day been going? I <laughs> love how we've been the for five, six hours maybe, and we've only just now asked how we're all doing. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's okay. Yeah, and we start I mean, talking about each other's asses first. That's completely fine. We went to this whole time conversation of streaming art, playing Mario Party, and even watching a stream, as well as talking about loss for some reason. And only now we are how we doing. Yo, let's talk about yeah, butt we, stuff. Oh we played Mario God. Party before starting the video. Yeah, for those of you that want to know, yes, we were streaming. Yes, we were playing Mario Party. And no, we've not off each other all day how we are. That's how great of a group. It's very sad. It's very mm. sad, you say? <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, um, I mean, uh, two poses. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, yes, um. That's just us. What was I gonna say? Nobody. Now. Absolutely nobody. Not a soul. MLP for 99% of the movie. Happiness. That 1%. The most questionable that, ass that, shot. That one part that, that one part that was out. Yeah, the one part where Greeny flipped out in the new MLP movie, you know, the the scene where they were shaking their ass? How's it be a unicorn? Or is yes, it shaking? Or if you want to be in the low zone, Greeny case, it's shaking. How's it be unicorny? I don't know, unicorny. I think they were just having fun. Is that the new definition for horny, but for a different species? Be, I don't think fun is an option here, B. I think fun is... Long gone as an option in no, this place. No, they were just having fun. They were dressing I up. Don't, I don't think they were like having that. fun. They were having this fun. This is what happens after doing movie night, and yes, we, we did that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so <laughs> to... What happens after one week of Tony? So to create the Arctesla 
What is this? Body armor? I need a God Slayer chest plate, Blood Flare body armor, Tarragon breastplate, 18 Arctic Tesla bars, and a Frost Barrier. I have all of those. Oh, oh, um, yeah, uh, I need to put that in the, um, what is it? Uh, the boss summons chest? Because that's the Yaron summoning item. I don't know if I ever want to hold that thing again. Dylan's playing the actual game while us three are doing commentary about our lives. Anyways, welcome, welcome, here welcome we go. Welcome to Explain Our Lives with GP, MG, or MGP, and B. Arik she's kind of just there. Here's... I don't know how she's going to this scenario, but she's here. Here is Arik Tesla I body hear? armor. 148 defense, plus 100 max life. 80 or no 8% increased damage and 5% increased Did critical strike chance. Say Matt's wife, I said. You, you will freeze enemies <laughs> near you when you are struck. And now we need to create the Arak Tesla, however the fuck you pronounce that. I still will never know how to pronounce that. Unless somehow in this Vini or wow, in this VC miraculously knows how to pronounce it. Wait, I don't have the f I don't have the flying carpet, do I? Okay, I could easily make one. Because I need that to create the Arak Tesla thing I can't fucking pronounce. But there we go, we made it. Let's see. 44 defense, 20% increased movement speed, 12% increased damage and 5% increased critical strike chance, magic carpet effect. Magic carpet. And now Alright, let's see here. I need to make a melee version of the Tarragon helmet and the Blood Flare helmet. So to make that, I think I need Eula Bloom, Bloodstone Core, and then go to Monster Drops. You need... Where is... Okay, yeah, I need Divine Geode and Ruinous Souls. Wait, Dark Sun Ring? Okay, I'm gonna want to have that for when I fight the Exomax. Holy shit. Alright, and where is the melee helmet? There is the melee hel helmet. The Blood Flare Ram Mask. Oh, some of these items need to go back in the chest because my inventory is getting clogged to no end. Okay, so we made the blood flare stuff. Um, I need- wait, where's the fucking ch chest? There we go. Let's see what else. Oh, right, the, um... Did I s Am I high? I put the divine geodes back in the chest without even making the melee helm. Okay, there's the melee helmet. So now, put all those extra monster drops back in their chest, Ruinous Soul, and then Divine Geode. And now, the last thing we need is our God Slayer Horned Great Helm, and from this chest, a Psychotic Amulet. And with that, Arik Tesla Royal Helm. 54 defense, 20% increased melee damage and critical strike chance, not moving boosts all damage and critical strike chance. And with that, we now have a complete set of Auric Tesla armor. With critical strike was never an option. And the set bonus, melee Tarragon blood flare and god slayer effects. Enemies are more likely to target you. All projectiles spawn healing auric orbs on enemy hits. I am putting on that dark sun ring. Now, let's see what else needs to be done. In fact, I'm pretty sure there was a screenshot on my phone. There was a specific weapon setup that I would want to use to fight the Exomax.
So I'm gonna sort it with how I see it. Um, Dark Sun Ring on the bottom. Dimensional Soul Artifact in the middle. Wings up there. I'm actually not gonna use the Asgardian Aegis for that battle. Okay, Elemental Gauntlet down there. Okay, what's that one accessory that the guy uses? It's like the downgraded version of, um... Wait, who drops it? Uh... No, let me go to Bestiary. And now... Is it the Brimstone Elemental who drops it? Okay, or is it Calamitous? But the clone version. I don't see it anywhere. It must be like an expert mode only drop. Well, that's fine, because I have both the summoning items for those two. And we could easily destroy them with our new Auric Tesla armor. So let's head to the beach. Thank God I'm not fighting Supreme Calamit- or not Supreme Calamitous, Yaron. And now let's have a match against Clone Calamitous. Oh, her bullet hell is so much faster, post-providence! Wait, how did I not notice that before? I've already fought in post-providence Calamitous. Oh shit! Uh, oh boy! Oh boy! Oh shit! Oh, this is actually working. I'm just falling. Oh shit! Platforms. Nightmare! 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 Get fucked. Okay, is it you that drops the accessory I'm looking for? Yes, it is. What is that, the animosity? Yep. How long has this video gone on? Over three hours. Which is usually my, um... What I always go to in Calamity videos. Alright, now, Void of Calamity. I believe I replace the Destroyer Emblem with the thing? Yes. So now we have all but one accessory for the Exomax. Actually, we technically have... Okay, wait a minute. Okay, yes. I put the wings I wanted for that fight in um, that chest, so thankfully I didn't lose it. Because believe it or not... Okay, well, until that fight starts, I'm going to put on my previous pair of wings, because speed boost. And then I'm even going to upgrade it, because I use the upgraded pair for Supreme Calamitous. Which... Okay, I am... Um, if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure the Yaron Treasure Bag gives you another pair of Drew's wings. Because I have to use Drew's wings in order to make the Celestial Tracers. If I have to fight Yaron again... I might shit, poop, fart, and fuck my own ass. And that's not a joke. <laughs> Alright, and... Okay, so we could get... Whatever accessory it was, Drew's wings, with enough money. Now we need... The Status Void Sash, which, to make that, we need... 10 Twisting Nethers and 20 Nightmare Fuels. I have the Nightmare Fuels, but I don't think I have the correct amount of Twisting Nether. Which, hopefully if all goes well, I only need to beat Cygnus once more. And, oh yeah, Cygnus is gonna get fucking destroyed. But I will make sure to fight him in my arena, just... Hell, I've no-hit Cygnus, but he still worries me. 
Yes, I've no hit Cygnus. Wow. Let's see if I can do it again. You know what? I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna do something really risky, but the damage will be worth it. Oh yeah, baby! Oh my god. I just realized something else that I can do after Yaron died. There is a specific weapon we can use. Okay, I was about to say, where the hell is my Twisted Nether? That Nether. Wait, I got a Cygnus plushie. Did I already have that before or no? Because if so, that's a new plushie in the collection. Oh my god! It is! We could welcome the Cygnus plush to our Hall of Fame. So, if these fucking things would move out of the way. Alright, so Seasless Void is going to go there if I get his plush. And right here is where the Cygnus plushie will go. Hello, Cygnus! And then bye, Cygnus. So now that we have Twisting Nether, Nightmare Fuel, and the Status Ninja Belt, we can now create the final accessory we need for the Exomax, the Status Void Sash. Ah, uh, yeah. But I will not put that thing on until it is time to fight them. Because... Oh yeah! The thing that I can do after defeating Yaron. I can use the Marisama. The most insane melee weapon in probably all of Calamity. Also the sword that somehow got my father pregnant. Wait, what? <laughs> what?! What? Nothing. TP, I rephrase, I... rephrase, now, now, now. Uh, I, I never said a thing for your talking about. Never. I heard everything, TP. It is no longer a secret. Your pussy will spill blood. Okay, just for the fuck of it, how easily could I shred Devourer of Gods? I HOLY BALLS! Oh my god! This is a MAJOR difference from when we first fought him. HE IS GETTING MURDERED! Now Yaron, or I mean, now Devourer of Gods knows how it feels when I had to fight Yaron. I have adrenaline. Th this guy is about to die the most unfortunate death. And it's only going to profit me because I'm, I'm doing this battle to get more Cosmolite and make money. Oh, hey, GP, it's the speedrunning song you like. The dream Wait, Dream used this in his speedrun? Well, I don't know, I can't really hear, but probably. I'm gonna find out. Ow, I'm breaking my Wait, oh my god, oh my god. Did I get the MLP thing? <gasps> now, it's not necessarily a direct MLP reference, but, um... Take a look at this. This is the creator of the mod's mount. And it's fucking incredible. And if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure it has infinite flight, but I could be incorrect. Oh, and did I mention we also got a plushie for the Devourer of Gods? Also, from the looks of this, oh, it's not infinite flight. But holy shit, is it fast! Wait, could I beat that in wing time? 
Oh, Jesus! I guess so. Fucking hell. But that's not the mount I want on, even though it is a... It's a somewhat MLP reference, because I need the slime mount. I cannot do most boss battles without that fast fall. And I've had that slime mount since the very first episode. And it's still useful, even after all this time. If this sword got your dad pregnant, I wouldn't be surprised. This is the most broken weapon, and it's you don't even get it from the last boss. Actually, the only weapon that could really outbeat this is, um, what you call it, the, um, the Triatix True Paladin Mage Hammer of Might. I think that might out DPS the Marasama, or the Marasama, but I could be wrong. Let me chop your body to little pieces, Devourer of Gods. Holy crap, everyone's still here. Wait, who's this? Uh, uh, my name is Joseph. I'm hey, new here. Hello. Oh yeah, you joined today, right? Yeah. Hello, buddy. Oh, man, okay, now you found it, found out, okay. <gasps> buddy, oh my fucking god. What do you mean, oh my fucking god? How do you not recognize my voice by now? Because I'm still kind of shaking for um, a magical moment I had earlier. Like, I'm still not over it. Uh... In case you missed it, um... Oh, I did. I wasn't here. Something amazing is going to YouTube. Me, after dying 48 painful deaths, finally defeating Jungle Dragon Yaron. Very nice. Oh my god, am I gonna really die devo to Devourer of Gods? I'm a bot! I am a literal bot. Everyone else <gasps> Why is the Devourer of Gods in my house? He's killing all my NPCs. Oh my god, everyone just died. And he's coming back for me. No. Why is he- what? Dude, what is Devourer of Gods doing? He's on crack! He killed all my NPCs. How did I avoid that? That was sick. And I killed him. I feel like I'm high. What did I just witness? Like, I died, but then he came back, ate all of my NPCs, and then I killed him. What? The fuck just happened? Wait, did- okay, the most important NPCs didn't die, thank fuck. I still have that giant fear, I don't know why- why- why does that scare me so much? What- what is it? The- 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 the anime episode where Dra uh, Dragonite literally devolves into Dragonair and then dra again into Dratini. Holy shit! Because it, it because the space time continuum is all fucked up, so it's making Pokemon literally go uh, age backwards. I don't want to go back. I love my I love my body. Ooh, okay. staff of the Mech Worm. No, no offense to Dragonair, I absolutely love Dragonair, but I, I, I don't, I can't be a slithery boy ever again. <gasps> Ancient Auric Tesla helmet. How can I hug? I need hug. I can't hug with no arms. <laughs> Wait, uh, 
Guys, what's this cosmic rupture item? Summons the devourer of the cosmos to follow you. Uh, GP, I'm scared. Uh, At least it's not the devourer of cookies. That would be uh, empty. Let me put on this item. Uh, B, are you there? What's gonna happen when I put on this item? I'm genuinely terrified. I am not sure. Uh, like <gasps> HOLY oh, SH- oh. <laughs> It just summons the Devourer of Gods as a pet! It's a friendly D.O.G. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh and yes, I also need to remember that I have a Devourer of Gods plushie that needs to go put- that needs to be put down in its room. I just realized, you know how an Everstone prevents you from evolving? Yeah. If I hold an if I hold an Everstone, does that mean I can't ever devolve? And I can just stay big and yellow and buddy-ish the whole- my, the rest of my life? I hope that's the case. Cause big buddy is best buddy. Fucking pets in my way, I can't see shit! Cock guzzler. All I can say is that for whatever if for whatever reason if Arceus himself becomes super pissed at me and wants to revert me back into a Dratini, someone literally shoved fifty five rare candies into my mouth. <laughs> Just have 55 rare candies at hand and just, like, literally fat me up. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking in the next episode, I am going to create a weapon that will be one of the main weapons I use to defeat the Exomax. But I think after an episode especially like this one, it's time to call it for now. Wait, am I live? Yeah, you're, like, in the final moments of the video. Shit, I didn't know that! I sound like an idiot! It's all fine! We've literally been talking about no, punk- Dude, No, 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 Hey, what's funny, I was gonna actually make a dump joke, but that's pretty much the same thing. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, um... Holy fuck, guys. The amount of progression we made is absolutely unreal. Uh... Dylan, you're hired. I'm hired? Yes, you are now my bodyguard. I will pay you handsomely. <laughs> Yes. Thank, thank you so much. Camouflage, warding, silent, close, menacing. Alright, well since we're live and recording, it's time for me to get uh, my Mr. Jump impersonation on. <laughs> I'm hoping you know who that is. I don't know if I know who you- I am a dumb ass! I was supposed to- I was supposed to- I was supposed to use the money I got from Devourer of Gods to buy another Yaron treasure bag, and I didn't. I'm a loser. Wow. You, you, you seriously don't know who Mr. Jum is? Nope. I am him! I, that's me on YouTube! <laughs> That moment where you don't get the easiest question of your life. Life flashes before your eyes as you slowly yeah, well, fucking on, decay. Me, uh, well, hold on, let me, uh, <clears throat> let me, uh, let me practice. Hey there, everybody! Well, this is Mr. John bringing you another set of random Mugen battles. What was that? That noise I made at the end there. Fucking bald know. eagle! Are you, are, you, are you allergic to me? No. Nope. Probably. Probably. 
Alright, anyways, after a, a battle like that earlier, it is time to fucking end this episode. Thank you all so much for watching! Don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe if you ever want to see a battle like that again. And I and will see you. And if you just happen to be listening to, listening to me, I have a channel as well called Team Lati Night. To go check it out if you like watching random shit that I do. Yes, I did a shameless plug on somebody else's video, so ha 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 ha. <laughs> Anyways. I, love, I, love how he in. I will see wow. you all in the. Right, I did, Holy and fuck. I love it. But don't worry, if, if, if Dylan ever jo joins me in any of my stuff, I'll I'll volunteer his channel as well, so don't worry. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. Alright. Now to end this, I will see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody!